Hello and welcome to the Autodesk Design Academy. In this fifth module, we will be talking about selecting materials and defining material properties, including defining materials within your CAD modeling program, selecting from predefined materials within Autodesk Simulation Mechanical, editing materials from the Simulation Mechanical Library, and defining new materials. We'll start by importing a SolidWorks yoke and pin assembly into Autodesk Sim Studio tools being sure to open the assembly file and not an individual part file. Most if not all CAD programs include a library of materials so that you can define the material properties to use for an analysis within your CAD package. However, FEA programs typically have a much more extensive library of materials representing many different grades of iron, steel, stainless steel, aluminum alloys, plastics, woods, and other materials. While the differences between various grades of a material like steel, for example, may not produce significantly different results for linear static analyses, the differences and proper alloy selection become more important and more significant when performing nonlinear analyses, particularly if the material is exposed to stresses in excess of the yield strength. We will look at the process of assigning materials in both SimStudio tools and Simulation Mechanical. In SimStudio Tools, right-click the assembly heading in the browser and choose Physical Material. For this model, a single generic steel has been assigned to all parts. Choose Stainless Steel from the list of available materials and drag and drop it onto the oak part. Notice the slight change in color based on the appearance parameters of the new material. Now the dialog lists two materials within the existing design. The pins remain the original steel material. Let's transfer the model into Simulation Mechanical for further setup and analysis. We'll save the imported and edited CAD assembly as yokeassembly.simstudio. Ensure that the analysis type is static stress with linear material models when prompted. When asked if we want to import the part names from the CAD model, we'll choose yes. We're next asked if we want to import the existing material properties from the CAD model. If you wish to choose from the more extensive FEA material library, choose no here. However, for this demonstration, we'll choose yes so you can see how the properties come in. The model appears in the FEA editor environment with the default simulation mechanical color assignments applied. Green for the oak, part 1, red for the large pin, part 2, and yellow for the small pin, part 3. Before we can see or define the material properties, the element type must be known. If we were to solid mesh the model, the element type would be set to brick automatically for all parts. However, for this exercise, we'll manually define the element type without meshing the parts. Select the element type heading for all three parts, right click, and choose brick. Notice that part one lists stainless steel as the material and the two pins list steel, reflecting the fact that we overrode the default generic steel assignment within SimStudio tools for only the yoke. Now let's choose a specific grade of stainless steel for the two pins from the extensive Autodesk simulation material library. We'll choose Stainless Steel AISI 430. Click Yes to confirm the replacement of the previously defined material properties. The new material selection appears in the browser under Parts 2 and 3. Double click the material heading for Part 1 to change the yoke material as well. But suppose you have data for a particular material and that specific grade is not listed in the library. You can first choose a similar material as a starting point or template and then click Edit Properties to customize the parameters. Notice that the current unit system is metric with force in newtons and length in millimeters. This is the default unit system for SimStudio tools and Simulation Mechanical imported the unit system of the transferred CAD model. Suppose your material data is in English units. You do not have to manually convert the properties to a different unit system. Cancel out of the Material Properties and Selection dialogs. 
expand the unit system branch at the top of the browser. You can activate an appropriate predefined unit system or define a new one. We'll choose English Inch Display Units to be activated. Return to editing the Part 1 material properties. Now the program is showing customary English units in the dialog. Let's change the density to 0 0.00076 the Young's modulus to 28,750,000, and then click OK. Notice the material is now labeled as Customer Defined. Now, if you expect to frequently use a particular custom material that is not in the built-in library, you can manage the material libraries in Simulation Mechanical to save you the trouble of repeatedly specifying the individual physical properties. Let's look at the Manage Material Library command available from the Tools ribbon tab. Notice that all of the predefined materials are read-only and cannot be edited. However, you can use an existing material as a template for a new material in two ways. Add the material to a new library, which you will then be allowed to edit, or export the material to an XML file, which you can then import into any existing user library. We'll look at the Add to New Library option. You are prompted to specify a file name for the new library, which is placed in your Documents folder by default. Let's name the library user-1.mlb. Next, you're prompted to specify a name to identify the library in the material dialogs, which defaults to the specified file name. We'll keep the default name. A new tab appears at the bottom of the Library Manager for the newly created library. The material that we added from the built-in library is listed and we can rename it. On the right half of the dialog, we can also alter any parameter to match the material data we want to represent. And then save the changes. Let's take another look at the Element Material Selection dialog for Part 1. The Select Library menu now shows the User-1 library we just created. Select this library and the custom grade of stainless steel is listed. This material and the properties associated with it are now available for selection for any future FEA model. In summary, we have demonstrated material selection within SimStudio tools and Simulation Mechanical, editing the individual physical properties of library materials, and defining new materials including creating a user library in Simulation Mechanical for your custom materials. This video demonstrated the steps described in this module's exercise and went a step further, showing how to use the Material Library Manager in Simulation Mechanical to create your own custom libraries. Thank you for watching.